The Nigerian Civil War, 1967 to 1970, certainly put a bend in my thinking. Now, I was very fortunate because I only experienced this war through association. I live as a child in the safety of Oxford, and I saw images in either on the news or in magazines and stuff about the war. But there's one set of images that really uh, marked me in a, in a very deep and very profound way. And in my dad's study, he had lots of books and things. I would look at them, the ones I could understand. Usually, at that age, I loved pictures. Uh, and you had these pamphlets with black and white photographs. And these photographs were of the atrocities committed by Nigerians against other Nigerians. Uh, the others were, briefly, for a couple of years, Biafrans. I was one of them. And the photographs were, I understand they were terrible. At the time, I was just too young to understand horror. We're talking about decapitated bodies, pregnant women who had been cut open, eyes that had been gouged out. And I saw these as just strange things in the same way that I would, I'm sorry to say, would pull wings off uh, flies and just do silly things like that. I couldn't connect with them emotionally. I found them fascinating. So I'd look and say, oh, is that, is that what this looks like and that looks like? And I had looked at them a few times, and one day my mother caught me looking, and she exploded. She was very, very angry. And I couldn't understand her anger because I hadn't, as far as I was concerned, I hadn't done anything wrong. I was just looking at pictures. And they had never banned me from looking at pictures. In fact, they loved it when you spent your time investigating things or looking into things, but not this time around. And eventually, my mum explained a few things and she said this is what the Nigerians were doing to Biafrans and I asked her why were they doing that and she said because they hated us and of course this is I, reduced to the kind of language that a child would understand but I never stopped wondering year after year I mean those images are still in my head I can conjure them up I, I'm sure time has adjusted them a little but I never stopped wondering why would somebody do this to somebody else? And part of that question is what I try to answer in Now I Am Here.